volunteers for Georgia's linguistic revolution arrive in Tbilisi. Around 200 foreign teachers are already working in schools here, with more to come, as the government tries to turn this former Soviet Republic into a nation of English speakers. It's 20 years of, of independence, kind of, so people are, are rearing to go, and English is one of the quickest ways to kind of be able to go across, like, especially with things like the EU, across this continent. I always do. 11 year old school children show off their English skills for their new American teacher. During the Soviet era, Russian used to be spoken throughout the communist empire. But as tensions with Moscow escalated, many young Georgians started to abandon Russian, even before the Kremlin's tanks rolled into their country two years ago. All across Georgia, and not just in classrooms like this, the influence of Russian culture is visibly declining. And that's not just because of the political dispute with Moscow, it's also because speaking good English is increasingly seen as a route to prosperity. If I don't know English, then I can't go to the job because English is the most uh, important language for Georgians. It can be the second language after Georgian. The government says the program is not political, but it is part of a transition towards Western values. Very often President of Georgia says that our response to the war, our response to Russian aggression are more reforms and more education. And we don't have much oil, we don't have natural gas. What we have is intellectual potential of our country. But some Georgian parents believe it's still important for their children to learn Russian. <laughs> Tina Legidze used to live in Moscow. Her daughter was actually born there. She wants five-year-old Kitty to speak the language of Tolstoy and Dostoevsky. Because of the Russian occupation, as they call it, some people might be very surprised about this. But for me, it is all a political game. I have a great hope that the mutual sympathy and warmth between our peoples will one day return. The new English teaching program is a huge experiment, and it's not yet clear what results it will ultimately deliver. But it does show that Georgia is determined to break with its Soviet past a break which could prove to be irreversible. Matthew Collin, Al Jazeera, Tbilisi.